You're listening to Mars Official Radio with Pana Maskelin, your first radio host choice with the best radio voice. This is Mars Official Radio with Panem Public Service Escalon. We have a soundtrack just right for the blue sunset light. I'm Panem Escalon and you're listening to Mars Official Radio, your reliable source for the music you love. This is Mars Official Radio with Panem Escalon. I aim to please your musical needs. I'm Panem Askelin of Mars Official Radio. Lean back, relax, and let us do the rest. Our songs are simply the best, and my hosting is too. This is Mars Official Radio with Panem Askelin. Stay tuned, enjoy, take a break, and just chill. Our songs will go down like an energy pill. My name is Panem Askelin. And I am very excited we are now able to broadcast live to our former home planet, Earth, with just 24 minutes of cosmic delay. We will now be able to share with you how your better educated fellows are living here on humanity's new home. Welcome to Official Mars Radio with Pana Masculine your window to the Martian future, that you Earthlings were not deemed intellectually capable enough to experience firsthand. My name is Pana Maskelin, and now we're going to listen to a song our official partners inform me is specifically designed to stimulate population increase here on Mars. I hope you Earthlings will also enjoy these benefits. Official Mars Radio is always striving to improve, so please send feedback, including data describing your results. Pivot tables are our preferred format. Please enjoy. While we are pleased to be broadcasting to our home planet, we'd request Earthlings please stop sending letters of inquiry regarding the Martian personality type. Yes, in comparison to the median Earthling, we are all very intellectually driven and rational. Get over it. Soybeans, fungi, wheatgrass, kelp, algae, microgreens, and giant potatoes. Even inebriating beverages for our less enlightened colonists. Unlike you irrational Earthlings, we Martians, of course, only eat for sustenance and maximum nutritional value. Food isn't fun. Food is fuel. Earthlings, Pena Masculine again, bringing you your favorite interplanetary tunes. I must report, although I do not miss the requirement of deodorant, the Martian average temperature of minus 46 degrees Celsius does make one miss the warm beaches of Earth. Let's warm up with this next song. Dear Earthlings, this is an announcement I have received from your brothers and sisters on the Red Planet. We miss Earth. Could you please send more food, concrete, and mangoes, please mangoes, on the next shuttle headed to Mars. End of transmission. This is the Mars Official Radio with me, Pana Maskelin. Daniel has sent us a letter. I'll read it to you. Hello, Pana, and thank you so much for your show. I heard you talking about those unpredictable cravings you described. I've had similar experiences. Not with food, though. No, but I've noticed that my musical tastes have transformed. On Earth, I used to listen to Bach, almost exclusively. After I landed on Mars, my musical preferences have slowly gravitated towards the works of Mozart and Haydn. Now I can't stand Baroque music at all. I have no explanation to this phenomenon. Take care, Daniel. Daniel, that does sound like a similar experience. I'll have to investigate this further. In the meantime, more music. I'm Penem, host of Mars Official Radio. We just received a letter from Magdalena, who works as a psychologist. Dear Penham, even though I like your show and your interesting talks, I sometimes find the way you express your opinions a little bit blunt. Hmm. Everything can't be resolved through facts. 
There are other aspects to take into consideration, like emotions, innate drives, and values. However, I do like the music you play and your informative commentary. Magdalena. <sighs> Magdalena, I understand you, but I find it hard to come up with a suitable response. I will think it over and get back to you with an answer. I think better with some music. This is Mars Official Radio. I'm Miss Eskelin. It's time for another letter. This comes from Tony. Hello, Miss Public Service. I've been a long-time fan of the great music you play. Regarding our future educational system, I have an idea. If our kids start their training at age four, they will likely reach the sufficient academic level to start their lives as productive citizens by age 20. What do you think? Hmm. Tony, your proposition is appealing, but I doubt that children can absorb abstract information any earlier than they already do today. Instead, I suggest we exclude subjects that don't apply to life on Mars, like domestic science, art and handicrafts. Okay? This is Mars official radio with Penham Eskelin. One of all the letters we receive today comes from Earth, from my old astrophysics professor, Aldous Lincoln. Dear Penham, I am delighted to hear that you are working on Mars. It must be fascinating. You will inspire your listeners to examine thrilling realms across space, time and matter. You are always welcome to a full-time position on the faculty here if you ever return to Earth. Take care, my friend. Love always. Dear Professor Lincoln, I don't know what to say. Please roll the next song. This is Mars Official Radio with another letter from one of our listeners. Hey there, Penham. What's up? You are so cool. Almost as cool as the music you play. Just kidding. Would you like to meet up sometime? Maybe have a glass of wine and a donor? I feel that we could talk for... Oh, I feel that we could talk and talk and talk for hours and hours and hours. What do you say? You know how to reach me. It is soon Friday again. You know date night mark. Ha. Huh. Oh, uh, well, it's time for another song. Welcome back. I'm Panem Public Service Eskelin, a nickname I got in my youth when I was just part of the public service revolution. My home country used to have serious restrictions on freedom of speech. When democracy finally came, other forces took control over the broadcasting channels. I fled to America, where some compatriots and I started up an underground news network, determined to supply our homeland with neutrally reported news. It was very successful and grew into today's public service network, the least corrupt network on earth. And now for some music. You're listening to Mars Official Radio. I'm your host, Penem Eskelin. I left my home country when I was in my 20s. Coming to a new culture is quite a challenge. Over the years, I noticed how I absorbed parts of the American culture. The personality I have today is the result of that fusion. I believe that I influenced America too. On a meta level, the exact same kind of absorption is taking place right now, on Mars. I'm changing and the planet will change too, developing according to its varying culture. Next track, please. I'm Penham Eskelin, and you are listening to Mars Official Radio. Soon, this planet will require the same social institutions that are required on Earth. Hospitals, retirement homes, and of course, schools. As a trained educator, I believe that Mars will need a custom educational system, more efficient and less time-consuming. How do you think the school... How do you think the system should be designed? Share your thoughts. Write us a letter. Listen to this. Welcome back to Mars Official Radio. Due to the dynamic and irregular environment in schools, I was dissatisfied working as a teacher. Instead, I went back to the university and studied astrophysics. Physics is the science of matter, its motion and its behavior in time and space. Astrophysics is the science of things like dark matter, a form of matter that neither emits nor reflects electromagnetic radiation. We don't know if it really exists, but it helps us explain the irregular movements of galaxies. Hmm, 
it obviously didn't get rid of all irregularities. Hmm. After a little talk, it's time for a little music. That's regular. This is the Mars Official Radio. I'm Panem Askelin. Unbiased information is essential to proper development. Still, people find it hard to understand that skewed information corrupts their conclusions. In contexts of social importance, like in the Mars Project, information has to be undistorted and addressed without preconceptions. With scientifically based information, the most difficult arguments can be settled, without issue. And that's my ambition with this radio show, to report indisputable facts in between good songs. Like this one, for instance. I'm Panam Eskelen of Mars Official Radio. Even though I like it on Mars, I find myself missing things I never thought I would. I've basically been a vegetarian since my first semester in college. Still, I recently had a craving for a donar kebab. I don't know why. The same thing happened when I thought of Turkish Delight, the most revolting candy ever created. Have you experienced similar cravings? If you have, tell us. Let's listen to another song and think about it. <laughs> 